going to fight for you. But Welcome back to Spider-Man on the PS4. In this part, we're not going to play as Spider-Man and instead play a slow-paced stealth mission as MJ. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Hmm, time to cause a bit of a riot. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. If I get sick... I'll sue you into the ground! Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for you. I'm surprised no one said anything to the guards. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Finally, a way for MJ to defend herself. That ought to make these sections more bearable. Funny that this is actually the last one. In the main game, at least. Coffee. <sighs> Multi-million dollar building with network speeds from 1995. <laughs> I like this thing. That must be one powerful stun gun to go through that much armor. Maybe it's not insulating. Or maybe I, maybe I just don't know how stun guns work. That's probably more likely. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Control. Grid's clear. Repeat. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Kinda looks nice up here. But this is, isn't the whole penthouse, not even close. Let's just look for clues right now. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. 
Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? This seems like Schematics really obvious Green Goblin foreshadowing. Mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Okay, the rest of the penthouse opened. Prepare to be amazed. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big... Bon voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this?
Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Okay, this is Harry's room. See what I mean about this penthouse being ridiculous? Why didn't you Probably tell us cost him a fortune. Sick. Being the mayor, I guess he could afford it. Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Hmm, I guess I can read the journal. July 18th. Leaving for Europe today? Huh. <laughs> Not sure how this is going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's Dad. Dr. Michaels think it's more like 50-50. So, okay. I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. No, who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise, then do me a favor. Show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them. Please. Thanks, Dad. Love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry. If you're reading this... Man, this is tough. Even in, a, in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing Mom had. Neurodegeneration, rapid onset. I've known for a while, but I thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because... Well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how you would re you'd react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with Mom. Watching her suffer. Knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or just super busy. Not partying. Not busy. Sick. This Europe trip... Well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it. Devil's Breath. Says it, says some, says it makes something good seem scary. But maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay. Dad's here. Time to go. Wow, that's really heavy. But we're in trouble now. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. 
I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. All right, we need to sneak out of here. Well, sort of. We have the passcode for that keypad. We need we need to see what that reveals. Wouldn't hurt to stun a few of these guys. Just make sure none of the awake ones see the bodies. Turn around. Cancel that control. Sector clear. This is risky. I think I need to clear the whole room. Just to be safe. Your peripheral vision sucks. Oh crap. Thankfully, you don't need to memorize the passcode. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? scientist thing going on. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records. 
GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial buildings... Wow. So many records facilities. Bravo, bravo, bravo. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. More guards are in the way. I'm really shocked Silver Sable didn't, you know, check around the table like you're supposed to when clearing a room. SA-45, we need your status. Man down! Go to alert! Comms must be down. Someone check on SA-45. I'll check his last known position. We can't use the elevator, so we need to find an open area. Uh, this will probably be, be faster, but riskier. Come on, come on, don't spot me! Need to clear that balcony. Yeah. 
here. Turning off lights now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. With that, I'll be signing off on this video. Next one, who knows what we'll do. Most likely take a I break from the main story. And start See you right. guys then. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman.